Hi everyone, this is Hassan Abib, I'm a student consultant. Today I'd like to share with you another question. And as I told you, our ultimate goal is to write down 350 words for each question. So the question is, what sort of skills do you have that's going to help you a lot to support this course? What sort of skills do you have got that's going to help a lot for this course? I mean, what you have suggested. Ultimately, they would like to know what sort of education and experience do you have that will help you to study your business management course or to study your health and social care course. So, excuse me. So, I would like to um, answer you that right now. So, as I told you, we need to use five tools. So, what sort of skills do you have? Why have you got that skills? How have you got that skills? Skills and when have you got that skills? And why are you gonna use them? How are you gonna use them? So, just you need to explain that. If you can explain. You are done. So now I'd like to. Um, so let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, my ultimate goal is to do DBA, Doctor of Business Administration. So now I'd like to tell them about my education and I'd like to tell them about my work experience. So then I'm gonna pick up some skills from my education and I'm gonna pick up some skills from my experience so then i'm gonna enlist them so this is my all the skills i have got then i'm gonna relate to them how these skills will help me to do the doctor of business administration i mean dba course is that exactly the same thing you can utilize for them so i'm gonna give uh, the example uh, by myself and you need to you know create your own one so what skills i have got that's the first question what skills i have got um I'm gonna start from very beginning. Well, I'd like to say that I have got a few skills uh, that's gonna help me a lot to do my DBA. And I've, I would like to categorize them in two parts. Number one is education, and number two is um, work experience. So um, I have um, I've done my master's from Birmingham City University in international business. And uh, during that course, I have studied marketing, management uh, supply chain management advertisement uh, finance and on um, entrepreneurship as well and you know and i have also worked in different um, industries different organization for example mcdonald's burger king then i have also worked in a language center as well as a teacher then i have also worked um, um, as a student consultant for hnk or hsl education so this sort of uh, study and work experience I have got. Now I'm gonna ask you why I have got this sort of skills. So from the very beginning, you know, I have uh, I have got some sort of ambitions to get the higher education as my parents, they were teachers. My mom was a primary school teacher and my father was a high school teacher. So they always inspired me to get the higher education and I saw I mean, they got a lot of respects from the community as well. So that inspired me a lot to get for the higher education. And, you know, as I have started working in different organizations, and I have started working as a language teacher, I have um, uh, worked for McDonald's um, as a cashier, I have worked for uh, uh, Hassel Education as a um, student consultant. So um, the reason I have worked these places is to get a lot of experience. And, you know, I love to talk with people. Um, I love to serve them and especially in the educational field I love to work more and more because these education studies I am so passionate about and that's why uh, I have worked for different different industry but most of the time I work for education industry and uh, now I'm gonna tell you I mean what sort of skills I have got from my uh, um, study and from my work experience so if I look into my study um, uh, I can tell you that I have done a lot of assignments and I have done my dissertation as well and I have done my exams as well. So I believe that I have got some sort of um, uh, analytical ability, I have got um, writing skills I mean, I, as I have done the assignments and I have got exam approach skills as well. I mean if you give me the questions I can write down the answer and I can uh, analyze it properly. So that's the skills I have got and I have also got the presentation skill because during my course I have got a lot of presentations as well. So um, as I mentioned, I have got writing, 
uh, skills, assignment skills, presentation skills, and analytical ability. Um, I believe that these sort of skills will help me to understand this course and to well, go through this course and I also believe that uh, there will be some sort of assignments and there will be some sort of exams as well and there would be some sort of vibe as well. So I believe that those sort of skills will help me to perform better um, in my DBA course. And also as I mentioned that I have got some sort of skills uh, for hassle free education as I, I have been working for hassle free education for a long time. So. I know how to talk with my clients and customers. I know how to train them and I know um, how to solve their problems. And uh, I mean, having said that, uh, I have got some sort of skills from them. For example, customer service. Um, I have got communication skills and I have got um, some sort of, you know, social media platform skills as well. So I believe that, I mean, those sort of skills will help me to do the DVA um, as my passion is to do the DBA um, I mean major in um, advertisement sector or marketing so those sort of marketing skills will help me to understand and as I have done my dissertation as well so during that dissertation time I have done some sort of um, survey as well I think that's also uh, will help me to do the future survey and um, also I have also used some sort of software it's called SPSS um, it gives the you know graphs and all that stuff, and it explain um, um, what is called. Uh, I mean, in a graphic way, um, all the things, facts, and factors, and it makes me easier to I mean uh, describe them according to the graphs um, and tables. So I believe that that sort of skills will help me to you know complete the DVA course as well. And um, how I'm gonna you know f finish this DVA. Um, I mean, how I'm going to finish um, this sort of um, course, I mean, what I am planning to. So in that case, probably I would say, um, I still I believe that there are a lot of ways and room to improve my skills. And in that case, uh, I believe that I will take um, academic writing course as well uh, online for a short course. And that's going to help me to understand um, and to use a lot of vocabularies and write vocabularies for the right uh, things and also um, I will uh, focus more on referencing as well especially uh, in my class and I will try to build up the relationship with my supervisor as well I mean if I um, don't understand or if I am a bit lag behind I'll try to communicate with them and I won't be feeling shy to ask for help and this is how you know um, I will achieve my goal, I mean, doing my Doctor of Business Administration. And I believe that uh, uh, as I have done my master's in 2010, and it's 2020, I took a long break and I worked a lot. And I think 2020 is the best time to start my degree. And uh, I am preparing my proposal. And I believe that next session would be my, you know, to start my uh, educational journey and I have uh, also uh, searched and I have also did uh, done some sort of researches as well and I found that you know University of Glasgow will be my um, university to study and uh, they have got a lot of resources online and offline and I believe that I will um, attend my degree from University of Glasgow in th three years time and I will uh, be introducing myself as a Dr. Ahsan Abib. So now you can see I have just keep speaking, 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 but I have, uh, I, I could, I mean, give a lot of examples as well. So, you know, I have got some, some few friends and they have got all the PhD and they um, have got uh, lots of experience I mean in academic side as well and that inspired me a lot and one of them is Dr. Javed Iqbal. Um, probably um, if you have gone through the Facebook page on HSLP education you will see I have already interviewed a lot of doctor I mean who is uh, working for the university or who is to work for the university and I can make a lot of history that that inspired me a lot and I feel some sort of naked I mean without this degree like doctorate so that's inspired me a lot to you know go for the next goal and I can give some sort of uh, what is called um, 
uh, example as well that when you have got some sort of title like doctor um, I mean you have got PhD or DBA then uh, you can you know do better business I mean people um, accept you um, cordially and they respect you a lot and I mean having said that I mean getting the degree um, you can um, you know accomplish your goal um, within a short period of time because this sort of um, resources skills and titles will uh, give a boost in, in your confidence and that's gonna help you a lot to um, grow your business as well so uh, finally I'd like to say um, my future plan is to do the uh, do the doctor of business administration and I have researched I have planned and um, I am going on the way to grab my opportunity to finish my course and I believe that I will be uh, selected for this opportunity and I am also you know confident and committed to finish this course within three years time so um, I think you have got some sort of ideas right now I mean what should you write uh, I mean if they ask you uh, what sort of skills do you have that's gonna support your course so it's the same thing you need to pick out some sort of first of all you need to ask five questions what sort of skills do you have why did you have that sort of skills how um, you're gonna get more skills that's gonna you know help you to achieve your goal and then when you're gonna have that why are you gonna have that so I have mentioned all the things and you need to create a lot of stories you need to give some sort of examples or evidence and this is how you're gonna achieve it so still I would recommend you I mean if you are not sure then ask your student consultant for a sample copy of writing and, and that the sentence I would say that's not gonna be the best ones but still I mean you have once you see that and you can tell well if they can write I can write as well and once you uh, start writing you will make your own on and once you go through the um, I mean interview when university people will ask you to write down something I mean on your computer you can start writing so what you need to do you need to do the practice at home uh, on this topic I have shared with you five topics and you need to write down these things um, at least once and once you write down five um, topics and for each question 350 words then whatever I mean they will not give you I mean the uncommon topic probably they might change a little bit but they will I think um, um, they will give you the topic within this topic so if you practice it if you know how to generate ideas if you know how to do the brainstorming if you know how to ask five questions what why how when and where and if you add a lot of stories if you add a lot of examples if you add a lot of evidence you are done you will be able to write more than 350 words so having said that uh, finally I'd like to give you a reminder that if you have got some sort of friends uh, who would like to join with you who would like to study at the university uh, please uh, recommend us and we give some sort of referral as well so don't miss your referral and anyway they're gonna um, get support help from us and we are committed to help you to serve you um, I mean in our best level uh, having said that I'd like to say thank you very much for joining Hasselfi education uh, thank you um, I mean for taking the right decision and I believe that this education is gonna change your life uh, transform your life and you will see one day uh, you will give me a thank but for the time being probably you might have some sort of hassles but keep in mind that you have got rehearsals as well and finally I'd like to remind you again Henry Ford he said you can or you cannot both you are right so once you see something else and the you know something comes inside you I cannot so delete this word delete this expression and instead of say how can I so once you ask how can I you become resourceful and you know you get a lot of ways opportunities to do the things get the job done and you become successful that's the difference between failure and success failure they say I cannot and successful people they say how can I so thanks for thanks for tuning in please um, subscribe this channel and hopefully see you or talk to you soon bye bye